All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to RC Adventures. I want to say a good hello to all my RC neighbors out there. I'm enjoying the channel. Got some uh, new updates here for the Element Trail Runner. Um, I did attempt to record the video earlier, but um, my storage was a little full, so the video cut out, um, and I already installed everything, so <laughs> uh, that, that's going to make it a little fun. But uh, five runs in, the stock servo did take a dump already. Um, I went ahead and replaced it with my Protec 370 TBL underneath there. I don't know if you can see it at all. Um, but to access the servo, you go underneath the chassis here. It's going to be four servo screws. And then to make it easier, you will see two screws right here going into your front subframe. You can slide those two out. This whole entire arm right here will flip up and it makes everything so easy to access right there. So definitely look into that. Uh, replacing the servo immediately when you buy this truck. I wouldn't even recommend using the stock servo at all. It is the worst thing on the planet. Um, it makes a stock Traxxas servo look like a Protec 370 TBL, uh, which is quite hilarious. Um, so I am actually very curious to see what this 370 TBL does in the chassis. Now that it has all the power in the world to turn these front wheels, um, I'll just kind of give you a little uh, thing there. And I also did replace my stock receiver with another Spectrum SR1, uh, SR515 uh, receiver, so I can go ahead and use my Spectrum Rugged DX5 remote. Uh, been loving this thing a lot. It's really nice. It tells you uh, how much battery life the receiver or the controller has, uh, what setting you're on, whether you're on six volt, 7.4 volt setting on there. Uh, only drawback to this uh, transmitter is it does eat AA batteries pretty good. So um, I do recommend buying some rechargeable AA batteries. Uh, that way you can have a set in the remote and a set on the charger uh, ready at all times. Uh, the screen up here will let you know what your battery life looks like. So that way you need to plan accordingly for your trip. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the spectrum turned on there. And we will go ahead and plug the battery up. Get that all going. Um, and then, yeah, here's just a little, so much better. Look at that. Look at that movement. It's just phenomenal. So that looks like it's going to be great. Um, wheels are working good. Everything's working good. All right. We can unplug her. Turn the remote off here. And yes, so uh, yeah, I just think it's a little bit of some uh, bull honky that uh, the first week in, your servo breaks on you. Uh, not even with any abuse or neglect, uh, this truck's been babied the whole week because uh, I do want to keep it nice looking. <coughs> um, so yeah, Element, if you're watching this, uh, I don't even know what you were thinking. Uh, providing a 13 kilogram servo for an IFS setup that you guys have even stated requires more power to turn the wheels uh, than the solid axle uh, Sendero or Trail Walker. So, uh, yeah, please do something about that. I find that to just be terrible planning, um, especially when you go to buy a, a $400 ready to run kit and a week later you need to purchase a servo already. Um, I know there's plenty of cheap options. Uh, that people buy, but um, I decided to go the big boy route and go with the ProTech. Uh, so if you're ready to spend $160, go ahead and do so. If not, um, I've recommended the yeah, Racing uh, 33 kilogram and uh, 25 kilogram servos to some friends and they love it too. So uh, I think that one's only 60, which is pretty nice. So yeah, uh, definitely do look into buying a new servo when you purchase this truck because it will unfortunately go out on you rather quick. Uh, the only thing that I've really done to the front, as you guys have seen, were those brass steering knuckles, and those aren't even that heavy uh, to sit there to even cause any type of uh, failure either. So um, just supplying a 13 kilogram servo was honestly the worst idea that anyone could have ever came up with, in my honest opinion. Uh, but I know everyone has their own opinions, but you will find your opinion 
uh, will probably match mine if you try it. So there you have that. Uh, we might go ahead and try and jump up to these class one tires there as well. Uh, that are the Proline BF Goodrich KM3 Munterains. Uh, have them in the class one size and the 1.9 wheels right there. Uh, you know, got some brass hubs, brass ring locks inside the wheels there. Uh, it'll be adding another two pounds to the truck. Uh, so it should actually, you know, start doing even better than it already is because this thing right out the box is already just mind blowing what it does for having such small wheels on it. So uh, we'll give these a try here soon. But right now, I do want to see what the uh, servo and receiver. Uh, hey, Snickle Brits, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, look at you. This is my big boy, Snickle Fritz. He's my best friend. He's always got to see what I'm up to. So you'll see him in lots of videos. I want to pet him. You want to come pet him? Come say hi to Sebastian, too, everyone. This is my nephew, Sebastian. Um, Snickle Fritz is terrified of him. <laughs> but yeah, say hi to everybody in the, the YouTube world, Sebastian. Hi. Hi. All right. We're getting him into the RC thing, too, so. Being in it. Yeah. <clears throat> now everyone's in the videos. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to cover uh, this portion of Trevor's review week two with the Trail Runner. And uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, this. This overland rack is getting pretty decked out now. I got all types of good stuff in there. We even got a, a canoe that my buddy 3D printed on there, which is very cool. Uh, even with all the weight that I've thrown on this body, the truck reacts to it rather well. Uh, I'm able to just climb stuff with it, no issues still, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the TRX4 Sport, once I had a uh, all the tracks and accessories on it with the uh, the overland rack and all that thing uh, it really weighed the truck down and just started pulling the, the front end up a lot when I went to go climb um, regardless of all the brass I have on there so it's really cool um, so stay tuned for a little bit more future of the awesome trail runner that I am equipping uh, we will be putting some more stickers on here shortly probably today um, and then on if you pay attention to my Instagram, you'll see the updated stickers on there. Um, and you'll see the stickers later on, of course, uh, with some other videos. So if you're not, um, I believe I already have it in my YouTube description. But my uh, Instagram name is RC underscore, or I'm sorry, it's just Silver State RC Adventures. Um, obviously, the spaces, you can't do a space on Instagram, so they're all underscores in between the name. Uh, so check out the Instagram rc underscore or silver underscore state underscore rc underscore adventures um, and you can just see all the up-to-date pictures i take of this thing as well and pay attention to the media as well that i'm producing on the youtube channel but um, i do have something in store here for you guys to check out uh, stay with me here uh, this is going to be quite awesome because i hate this servo that much i will be right back with you guys Here's that amazing Reedy 13 kilogram uh, steering servo that Element provided you with uh, the Trail Runner uh, 4x4 ready to run. Yeah, metal gears, waterproof. Um, it's not that great, guys. Watch this. I got something great for you here. Okay, that didn't uh, end uh, expectedly. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, they'll get the note I left on the windshield that says, uh, please bill Element RC for your broken windshield. Um, I apologize to whoever that was, but uh, yeah, that's what happens when you put a garbage servo in your truck. It goes over the backyard wall and it hits <coughs> someone's car. Not my problem anymore. But stay tuned until next time, guys. I will see you right here on the YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned for some other videos, and yeah.
Peace out, RC neighbors. Back in the video. No rivers. Wade's world. <laughs>